God bless you. I've seen a time that I could jump up, but I'm 87. And I came up here to celebrate the home going of a saint. Ruth was born in 1929. I was nine years old. I'm 87 now. And I was there in church the Sunday morning that the Lord saved her. I want everybody just look at the person next to you. Say the same spirit, same spirit. that raised Jesus from the dead. Jesus. If it also being you, it will quicken your moral body. Anybody who never moves is not close enough to the fire. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes I have a country fit. Lord, it gets all over me. There is, in symbolic logic, what we call a constructive hypothetical syllogism. Which comprises a major premise, a minor premise, and a conclusion. Major premise, all living things die. Minor premise, man lives, therefore, man must die. Ever since that day in the Garden of Eden, man has talked about living again. David said, the soul shall not rest in show. God is not going to leave my soul in the grave. Job said, if a man die, shall he live again? But Uzzah, I said Uzzah, was king over Judah for 52 years. And his brother was named Amos. And he sent Amos to Egypt on an expedition. And Amos died. And Uncle Uzziah brought Isaiah to the house. Every time he ate, it was at Uncle Uzziah's table. Every time he slept, it was in Uncle Uzziah's bed. Every time he bowed at the knee, of a king is that uncle of Zai's knee. But all of a sudden, Uncle Uzzai died. And Isaiah said, when Uncle Uzzai died, he said, I thought I lost a hero. But in losing the hero, I found somebody who could stop me from needing more. 
He said, when Uncle Uzzi died, I lost the king. But in losing the king, I found the king of kings. And then he lifted up the veil of time and looked 720 years down the line of time. He said, I saw Jesus. His name was Emmanuel. It means God with us. In Jesus, divine omnipotence moved in human hands. In Jesus, divine wisdom was cradled in a human brain. In Jesus, divine words of grace came out of human lips. God Almighty. I tell you, I thank God for Bishop Luda and for Father Luda and for my sister. Now, you know, I don't have to always go through a thesaurus or to Webster to get a definition. To me, a friend is someone who loves you in spite of all your idiosyncrasies. You never lose a friend. You find out you didn't have one in the first place. And I have a definition for love. Love is blind, but marriage is a great album. Sometimes you got to live with folk to know them. Now, I enjoy Brother Luda, and I love the girl and love little Cleo. But you know, I tell you, I, every once in a while, I think about it. You know, Isaiah said, and death will be swallowed up in victory. And God shall wipe all tears from their eyes. And I just come by here to tell you I want everybody to say, praise the Lord. I'm praising the Father, Sister Luther's life. I want everybody to shake hands. Say, if I, praise the, Lord, praise the Lord, like I ought to, I'd have to have buckets around the wall to catch falling blessings. Because when praises go up, blessings. Come down. Hallelujah.